Uh, Richie, uh, four 0 defeat tonight, but results in pre-season don't normally matter too much. What did you make? No, of he, still, he still does. He still does matter. Um, it wasn't a great evening for us. First of all, I'll uh, no, I'll take a bit of cr not not criticism because it's a friendly bit. We planned and we knew how Newcastle were going to play because we've had a same manager for a long time. You know, we know what system they're going to play. We know the players. We knew the players tonight, but because they've got a new manager, we we obviously heard. We tried to get a little bit of feedback to know what system he was going to play. You know, under Chris Wilder for years and years and years, he was he's playing three at the back. The centre halves overlap, and you knew what you were going to get. Well, tonight with a new manager, obviously he's got a reputation of good football at Fulham. We knew they changed, we just didn't know what. So, therefore, we didn't really work on anything out of possession. We just tried to concentrate on us. I think that's shown our out of possession from from tonight from Newcastle was was a world away. Um, and it's probably a good it's probably good that we got it now. We looked at times like a patched up team. I think. The kickoff didn't help us because it, 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 it kind of, well, it definitely didn't help us. And then for probably seven or eight minutes, we were a little bit, probably the game was a little bit dead, but they had the majority of the ball. And I thought we started to come into the game, and then obviously you give them a huge leg up, and, and from that moment on, then they were very comfortable in, in the game. But it's a good lesson for our lads because that, they're one level above now, and that's the level that you need to get to. Not just in in football wise but reactions intensity dedication to your work you all look at them they're all fit the reactions are, are spot on you know i know we, we've got a patch up team and we look like a patch up team at times but you also seen some lads out there the reactions weren't great the work weight wasn't great so i mean something that i've learned a lot more tonight than i did at, 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 against newcastle sometimes these pre i've said a long all along sometimes pre-season kid you whether you play too well or you play too badly um, so I've never, I'm never one of them that gets gets kidded by pre-season games. From your perspective, does it make it tough to judge the side right now with the amount of trialists and changes and everything else that's, that's you've got to deal with? It does, but I'm always trying to envisage what we'd be like if we was playing a, a team in our in our league, and if they're doing the right things, that when we get the all the, the pieces of the puzzle together, can they still execute? The things that we want them to do. I mean, Ben Close was a massive loss today because him and Matt Smith complement each other really well. Um, tonight, one thing I'm not happy about is Sonderberg done it, Chris Basham done it. It probably happened, probably a double figures in the game where someone just running straight through my midfield. So um, it didn't happen against Newcastle. The hitters on the counter attack, but it didn't run straight through our midfield. So we need. We need a bit of size and a bit of power in there. Hence, I, I wanted to get minutes. I wanted to play Tommy Rowe for 90 minutes, but that's why we decided to put him in midfield, just to give us a bit of power, a bit of legs, a bit of know-how, because I think in the first half, we certainly lack that. Is that a role that you're going to want from him? Obviously, a very versatile player is Tommy Rowe, but could you see him starting there if you don't necessarily get the... No, I mean, if we, if we have injuries, maybe, but I think he gives us so much from that full-back position that we don't really want to be changing that. Um, it's always about getting uh, the minutes balance between the players so obviously we've got three good centre backs that we'd be happy to pick two from any of them three but it's about getting the right minutes we, 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 we've obviously given Tom 90 minutes today we need to do get more minutes into Cameron John um, but overall you, sometimes you, you, you can get beat but it's a feeling of we like that we like that but it was a lot of feelings that I didn't like tonight a lot Rich Ben Close what's his situation he's got Covid so he, um, I think it was the Sunday, sort of Saturday morning after we played Newcastle. Um, he didn't feel too, feel too well, so he, he got two tests and both came back positive. Has that had any knock-on effect on other members? No, every, everyone was everyone okay. Again, we're chasing our tail with Jordan Hirula because his lack of fitness definitely shown that first 45 minutes. Um, another frustration from that: we don't put the ball in the box. So these lot, listen, we can break the game down and we know where we are. But we don't put the ball in the box quickly enough. We allow teams to get back into the shape. Um, whenever we're attacking, we don't finish attack to the other side of their defence. So therefore we're open to get countered on our counter. Um, we play too many straight passes and we play too many open passes. Sorry, switches of play to an open pitch when, when it's not set up to switch. So load, listen, there's loads of things, but we know where we are. And we're, and we're, we're not happy with where we are, but we know what we need to do together. Because at this stage, I, I imagine 
you ideally want your squad as set as it possibly can for just over a week to go to the season start? Yeah, and I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of aspects that are okay in our game. I mean, you look at, we've conceded four tonight, and you look at Tommy, sorry, Tom Anderson and, and Rose Sean, and they've done all right. But our midfield is so open, so exposed, lack of power, lack of legs, lack of um, decision and when to go. We jump too late and therefore the space in front of them is, is exposed so much that they're being asked questions that they shouldn't really be asked or, or definitely too, too many times. So even though them two have done okay today, we, we, we know where we are, we need to show up. But again, we've played two teams that have... I knew tonight would be a more difficult game. I knew for a fact. Uh, Newcastle have got a, a, a settled team. Um, they've had a, a manager for a long period of time and they know what they do. Sheffield United play with more intensity, use of the ball more, and um, they've got a new manager, so, so all their players are going to obviously run through big walls to, to try and impress. And, and that's what we want. We want to get players in um, that want to run through big walls for the club. I've seen trialists today going through the motions. So we. we From don't... a goalkeeper perspective, are you looking at a loan, a permanent? Obviously, we saw trialists come on in the second half. Well, we'd love to get a permanent because then we can develop and we, and we can get two goalkeepers that, that can grow together. But the, the amount that a, a permanent goalkeeper costs is a lot because they're at a premium for, for good ones. Um, so we can get someone who earns a substantial amount at the parent club for obviously a fraction of that. So the only option we have in terms of a goalkeeper is to go down the loan route. Because you try this tonight, look composed. On the ball, you're Too composed, at won't. Tell, tell us a little bit more about him. No, I mean he's coming from. He, he played for Dundalk. Um, he's coming. Um, Paul Gerrard contacted him probably four or five weeks ago, and this is the first opportunity that we can we can um, we can get a look at him. But we're still looking down the long route. Are we likely to see anyone that we've seen tonight being announced getting a deal in the next few days? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Um, in terms of a signing today, Aidan Barlow clearly impressed in, in pre-season. What, what's he done to impress you get a one-year deal? I think obviously his expectations in terms of his wages, he just wants to play. The lad wants an opportunity. Um, he's obviously had a fantastic upbringing at Manchester United and then he, he's drifted out the game a little bit. So we've just given him an opportunity. Um, the ball's in his court now. He, he isn't on substantial money, not at all. But these things in it that can... You know, dangle a carrot for him. He, he done all right when he come on today, showing his little glimpses. But again, his fitness is nowhere near. But you've clearly seen enough in him with the aspects that you've seen in pre-season with the goal scoring etc. So I think that there's a player there that somebody you can work with. Yeah, he can handle the ball. He needs he needs to be a little bit more physical at times. But we think that when the ball goes in around the box, he's got this lovely knack of being in the right position. And when you know, we've obviously not made just a decision off the, the goals that he scored in friendlies. We've watched him closely in training as well. Um, and a lot of training days, he scores a lot of goals. So that's the reason why we've given an opportunity to, to try and grow at this club. How much business do you think you'll be able to do before the season starts in, in 10 days' time? Are you I, looking to, to get the majority of your business done by then? Or could it, I did will think, it go beyond? I did think that we would be further down the line, but that, that 10 days, two weeks of COVID has knocked us back. It's really delayed a couple of things. So um, we'll just have to be patient. We, we know where we are, we know what we, what we need to do. Um, but again, we've la we're lacking some big players tonight. You know, for Jerry, Taylor um, and Ben Close make a big difference to, to that team tonight. Thanks, Richard. No problem. Has anything changed in terms of your ability to offer, Neil? Sorry about it um, not currently, no. So there's no funds? No. No. There's, there's a couple of things brewing, um, and to be fair, we're, we're trying to just manoeuvre around a few situations because we know we are a little bit, a little bit threadbare. Again, John Bostock wasn't here tonight. He's an experience. We're, we're, we're lacking players. You know, John Taylor, Bostock. Okay, these are lads with hundreds of games that know the game, that know the level. Tonight, we're just a little bit flimsy, um, both in and out possession, a little bit. Sometimes men against boys, and to be fair to Sheffield United, they was on it. I watched the warm up. Sheffield United looked like it was on it from the warm up, and fair play to them. They're, they're obviously a fantastic outfit. We've had, we've been on a crest of a wave, um, but we was at times given the run around, and we accept that, and it was a good learning curve for us. But um, we we need to improve.